Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic and especially its historical center, is one of the world's unique UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Its pearl is the Art Nouveau Monument, the municipal house. It is located on the site of the former residence of the Czech kings, the royal court, next to the powder tower. The municipal house also witnessed the declaration of independent Czechoslovakia in 1918. This is where Czech history was made. Today we meet the best companies and personalities here. It is here, in the representative Smetana Hall, that the pan-European company Comenius announced the results of the prestigious Czech 100 Best, Lady Pro and Gentleman Pro competitions. On the 1st of December 2023, the award winners received their diplomas here. I see this competition as fundamentally patriotic because all of you, through your extraordinary work, are doing for this country the most important thing it needs to exist. To prosper and to offer the best to its citizens. Perhaps the most important goal of the competition is to recognize and make visible to the wider public the best Czech companies and personalities across many different fields. The gala evening was attended by several hundred distinguished guests from public and business life. The event was dominated by the best companies and institutions as well as charismatic faces. Successful companies were awarded in the Czech Top 100 competition in a total of eight categories, covering key areas of business and the diverse life of society. Representatives of the 10 most successful companies received their awards from the hands of officials of state Jerzy Oberfelzer and Karel Havlicek, and also from the president of Comenius, Karel Musikard. The title of Lady Pro, or we could say professional lady, should belong to those women who are among the most successful in their significant activities, careers and also motherhood. And it's really good news that the company Comenius manages to find Ladies Pro every year. Here are this year's Ladies Pro. Once a gentleman was a man of noble birth or from a social high-ranking family. Today the term does not refer to the origin but to the qualities of the man. We consider a true gentleman to be a man of admirable and respectable qualities such as intelligence, education, nobility and courage. However, if we also add a high degree of purposeful diligence the ability to lead others to set a personal example in moments of crisis. That's exactly the kind of man we are looking for, a gentleman pro. So we are very pleased to introduce this year's winners. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tremendous experience to be among the very best. I hope this event continues until there are no one else in this country but the very best. And I hope I will live to see it. I was wondering if we should introduce a competition like this in the Senate, and I was wondering about the categories. I figured the criteria should be these. The prize should be awarded to the people who speak only if they have something to say, if they say something that hasn't been said before, and if they don't say it, it will be a shame. Good evening. First of all, congratulations to all the winners. You are all doing a great job. 
congratulations to Karel for organising everything. You're doing a great job. I don't think politicians should speak at the hundred best. However, if they do, they should be either funny or humble. I attempted to be funny last year at Prague Castle, but today I admit I'm running out of humour, so I'll be humble. I have no idea what kind of government will be here in a few years. What I do know is that no government will do a restart. It will not do economic growth. This can only be done by successful employers, employees and those who are efficient. And there will come a time when politicians, hat in hand, will have to stand in front of the successful and ask them to do the restart. And one more thing. You don't have to trust politicians, but trust the state, because the state will need you. Dear friends, believe it or not, this is the 28th time. The first time I stood here, I was a dashing youngster. Today I'm here by the will of God. We have representatives of the church here, and I'd say the will of God is important, and we should believe it a little bit. We should still believe in the fact that honest work, even in the time when some influencers make millions a month, is a basis for us to go on and live well and even better than we do. Finally, I would like to wish you Merry Christmas, good health and joy. The evening was rounded off by a fashion show by the well-known Czech fashion designer Tatiana Kovářikova. Jolana Voltanova and Daniel Takac are traditionally amazing guides to the whole event. The excellent cultural program was provided by the Backside Big Band and a number of soloists. We congratulate the pan-European company Comenius on the 28th festive announcement of the Czech 100 Best and we wish them more success in the future.